Olá! Na trilha de conectividade e infraestrutura de áudio e vídeo, teremos uma conversa sobre um tópico super atual, Cloud Playout, ou seja, exibição utilizando a nuvem. Para desenvolvermos o assunto, temos conosco dois especialistas. Nossos convidados são Felipe Domingues, Chris Sales Manager at Sys Group, e Nigel Crow, CEO at VSET. Sejam bem-vindos à nossa trilha. Welcome to our track. Hi, Felipe. Hi. Hi, Igor. Hi, Calvila. Hi, everyone. So, thank you for the opportunity. Okay, guys. Let's start our conversation. So, hi, everyone. So, hi, Igor. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you for being here with us. So, VSET and CIS have been great partners in Cloud Playout environment. Can you tell us more about VSET? Yes. Um, so, VSET was founded in Latvia in 2011, and now we are both based in Latvia and in London. We have uh, around 25 customers having 100 playouts running in 15 countries. We have been uh, AWS uh, partner uh, for a long time, and we are advanced technology partner for AWS. And we're obviously very excited to have CIS as our partner in Brazil and US since 2019. We um, cover a broad range of uh, linear television uh, requirements from the point of view of playout. So we provide a full-fledged platform to launch and manage TV channels. It is a very flexible platform. Uh, it's cloud-based and basically runs on AWS or any other platform uh, which is public cloud. We can create professional channels with broadcast great outputs and deliver them across the world. Our platform offers a full range of uh, workflow capabilities and covers all the needs for linear television. We have two products. Veset Nimbus and Veset Stratus. One is more for professional linear television, the other one is simpler product for those who are trying to start linear television channel uh, and don't know where to start with. So this is the out, our just quick, basically, background. Um, let's uh, maybe talk a little bit more about what's going on in uh, cloud overall. All right. Thank you, Igor. Thank you for the introduction. So you have started in 2011, as you said. How do you see linear TV workflow adoption of cloud technologies over the past nine years? So I would say that um, TV industry overall is in a transition. It has been a tradition for some time. Um, we are obviously based in a play out space and we can see this evolution. Um, I've prepared here a slide which shows you how, how we see where we are today and where we are moving in the future. I think um, some parts of television, such as uh, video on demand, has adopted cloud from the very start and uh, have been using cloud as the main uh, technology driver for evolution of this television, um, new form of television. Whereas linear television has existed for uh, decades and has been slower in adopting cloud, but it has been moving in the same direction as video on demand. Uh, today, um, we can see that there is coexistence of cloud and um, you know, on-prem mm -hmm. solutions quite widely, but with technologies such as ours and uh, our competitors as well, I think there is more and more options for people to adopt cloud and uh, get all the benefits which it brings with it. Obviously, it's been a long journey. Uh, we started in 2011, and back then people did not believe that uh, linear television can run on the cloud. But we have many, many channels now which um, run on cloud uh, playouts, and also we can see that there are many, many new use cases emerging from that um, um, cloud deployment of playout. All right, thank you. Totally agree with that. 
So you sometimes refer to your platform as true cloud play out. What do you mean by that? When we talk about uh, true cloud play out, we are talking about um, play out <clears throat> or solutions which are deployed and designed for public cloud. Whereas some people may refer to cloud as something, some server remotely accessed. This is not a cloud in our understanding. Our, our solution runs on uh, over a dozen of microservices in Kubernetes cluster in um, AWS. It can be deployed in other public clouds as well, but that's a huge difference when people talk about cloud. A cloud for us is, is this type of SaaS product, which can deliver all the benefits of uh, public cloud. What are the main drivers behind transition from on-premise play out system to SaaS linear TV management systems? Well, from my perspective, there are two key drivers, technology and consumption. Basically these two drivers, which actually underpin all the changes which happen in television. If we are talking about technology, we can see that most of things which are happening in media and uh, distribution are IP driven. Um, also, when it comes to cloud, it's obviously nat nat natively <laughs> internet based. And also in terms of public clouds, which I've been talking earlier, economies of scale make a huge difference and economies of scale for let's say aws google um, azure uh, these companies have both uh, capital but also a huge technical expertise which we can leverage off i think even if you are a large media company you have relatively limited resource compared to AWS when it comes to investing in technology. And I think for us to benefit from this is a huge boost. And also, obviously not just us, but also the industry overall. And what cloud also brings a lot, you know, and technology brings is lots of uncertainty. Lots of things are changing and cloud allows you to, to play with it and, and, and basically hedge your risks as opposed to investing in something which can change overnight in the future. And obviously cloud also flexible. And as people invest in it, you can share old and new standards using cloud. So it's not completely dismissive of what has been done in the past. It actually has a lot of power and capacity to process lots of different formats, also lots of different um, setups which are out there. And when it comes to consumption, what consumption obviously underpins is the business model. Everyone wants to have everything on demand ultimately, right? So consumers don't want to be locked into long-term contracts. They want flexibility. They're also used by, um, used to watch uh, videos for free on YouTube. So it's completely new paradigm. So this pushes a linear television into a new space. And that space is that ev everything has to be on demand and it has to be focused probably more on life and life events happening on demand as well. Because linear television, what is linear television? Linear television is all about being live and being created in real time. And that's its big advantage, but we have to take that advantage and use new technologies to provide consumers with what they want. I would say also that if we are talking about SaaS versus on-prem, there are obvious advantages of SaaS over on-prem. Obviously, on-prem is something people know and many broadcast engineers are aware of. Um, but it's um, obviously you get comfort from what you know, but at the same time, new technology bring you lots of uh, other um, positives, which I have listed here. Obviously, speed to market scalability, ability to work remotely as a team comfortably designed for these products such as ours allows you to uh, spread workloads and um, 
it has lots of advantages such as building redundancy and ease of integration. You know, many customers are very concerned about integrating. Uh, and I think cloud solutions are actually designed to be easy to integrate. So I think that's our view on how, how um, cloud solutions like such as ours can uh, help organizations to move from on-prem to SaaS easily. A conversa sobre cloud playout continua com o Felipe e com o Igor no próximo episódio.